the following function computes the maximum value contained in an integer array p of size n where n is at least 1 so what it does a is equals to uh, p is a, like the base address of the array and n is the length so there are two local variables a is equal to 0 and b is equal to n minus 1 it is like this so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 assume that the number of elements in the array is 8 so the value of a will be 0 and the value of b will be 7 as of now this is my a and this is b and you want to compute the maximum value contained in the array okay fine now what you will do it is computing something the function is executing and uh, what we are doing if pl as then equals to pb then a is equal to a plus 1 otherwise b is equal to b minus 1 okay suppose it is having some value like 10 1 9 3 12 15 6 6 7 okay like this is the case so the code is what they are asking is that what is the condition that you will pick here so that this function computes the maximum value okay assume that as of now the condition is to assume that then what it will do if pa is less than equal to pb this is pa this is pb so 10 less than equals to 7 condition false if this condition is false then else block will execute and else says that b is equal to b minus 1 it means that out of between these two elements if this element is greater it means it cannot be this element cannot be compared with the next element why because it will never be a maximum element so you just throw out this and then you reduce b is equal to b minus 1 and the next time again suppose the condition is true you forget about the condition as of now and again you check pa less than equals to pb and you came to know that 10 less than equal to 6 again the condition is false if this condition is again false it means this element cannot be the maximum element you just forget about it and you reduce b is equal to b minus 1 and now you came to know that pa less than equal to pb and 10 less than equal to 15 yes condition is true if this condition is true what you are doing a is equal to a plus 1 so you increase a and this is my a the index of a has been increased by 1 unit and after that again you check 1 less than equal to 15 and 1 less than equal to 15 means the condition is true if this condition is true so this element cannot be maximum element so you just forget about this element because one of the larger element available with me so you just forget about this now you increase a now again you check assume this time also condition is true i want to ensure that i want to check how many times this loop will execute and it can be identified if only if when i will get the maximum element okay and the way the code is executing either if the element is smaller then you are increasing the left index and if the element is like a larger then you are decreasing the right index so and both index are increasing and decreasing by one one unit each so in the in the worst case uh, the situation could be like this you will increase both pointers and suppose when the pointers will meet when they when they meet to each other when they meet then you will get definitely the maximum element so the situation would be like this while uh, b is not equal to a or a is not equal to b till you will execute the following uh, piece of code so let me do this so 9 is less than equal to 15 yes condition 2 it means 9 cannot be the larger largest element so remove this and increase the a. and again check 3 less than equal to 15 yes it is true again increase so this is my a and 12 less than equal to 15 yes this is true and now a and b both are pointing to the same index if both are pointing to the same index it means both are pointing to the same element and if for the remaining element the condition was satisfy it means none of the element was greater than this element so this element is definitely the largest element so now you stop so what should be the condition the condition is definitely while a is not equal to b or b is not equal to a so let me check the options while a is not equal to a no this is not correct because we are because a and b are approaching to each other so it cannot be the correct b is not equal to 0 this is wrong it, it all depends on where the element is available b greater than a plus 1 this is wrong definitely t is the correct one while b is not equal to a because both indexes are approaching to each other by one one unit okay so the correct option is while b is not equal to a